Hi guys, it's Otto here, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Tilt 50 RTS in the Venetian blind. Um, like I said, it's for, uh, for the larger Venetian blind, so the 2 inch uh, headrail sizes. Um, I'm going to show you today what's, uh, what's required to, uh, to, to build a motor into, uh, into the blind. Um, I'm not going to take into account the power, you can either use uh, the battery wand or the transformer. Uh, but today we're going to look at more the, uh, the mechanical side of things. So first of all, what do you need? Um, the motor to begin with, then the headrail adapters, either the small or the larger one, uh, we'll see what we need here. And then the, uh, the shaft adapter, um, we have the square uh, shaped size that's already in the motor. Um, if you have uh, the star shaped um, shaft, then, uh, then we need to use this adapter. Um, in this case, we have a, um, the square shaped one. <coughs> So we're not going to use it, but if you do, then um, yeah, you need this, this little piece. And that basically goes into the motor like this. Just push it in, and that's it. So nothing really special. Um, just slide in, done. All right, so now that we know which pieces we need, let's, uh, let's start with the actual work. Um, first of all, we're going to take out the manual mechanism. Because if you leave that in place, it's going to block the motor. So uh, we need to take it out. Um, it's located on the right hand side on my version, so I'm just going to take it out. I can slide it out, pull these out. If these are too big to go through the opening, just cut the cord. You're not going to need it anymore. So That's that part, and then we can move over to this side. Um, you might need a little bit of space. Um, to um, yeah, to create actually a little bit of space for the motor because of course it's it's, it's this wide, so either you have to cut the uh, the shaft or in, as in my case I can push it to one side to create enough space um, for the motor itself. Um, take a look at the shaft. If uh, sometimes the edges aren't really great um, and to have the best connection, you might need to cut it uh, or um, file off the the rough bits to make sure it actually fits in in the motor. Um, in this case, I don't have any problems with it. I've, um, I've moved the shaft over to the right, so there's enough space for the motor, as you can see. You don't need a lot of space. So the so next thing to do is check which head rail adapter I need. Um, I'm going to move this over. And I'm probably going to need the big one. I'm just going to test it for size. As you can see, it slides in perfectly. So I need a higher one, but it, it can be. It is possible that you need a smaller one. You just need to test it. But as you can see here, that's just a little bit too small. Still some space there to for movement, which is what you don't want. So um, now that I know which one I need, I'm going to actually place the motor inside of the uh, the head rail bracket. Um, this there's a large opening here, and that's where the uh, the motor side. Will be so. This is the side where you can insert the shaft for the motor as well. So this is the way to do it. And we're going to use this side as the as the upside um, because here is the um, the reset button for the motor, and it's easier when that's upside uh, with with, with um, that side up because if you need access to it, it's easier than uh, than to take out the whole bracket again. Um, so just make sure this side is up so you can easily reset it in case you need that. Um, this is the antenna. You can hide that somewhere in the uh, in the case itself. This is the uh, this is the connector for the battery or the transformer. So you need to be able to access that at a later point. So move that over to the side. So that means we're almost done. Um, the bracket is in uh, the motor's in the bracket, and all we need to do now is slide in the bracket, which I'm going to do now. And of course, we have to make a connection to the shaft itself. So there we are. Motor can just slide in. I'm going to move the shaft a little bit so that it's aligned with the uh, the adapter on the motor, and just push it in. That's it. Sometimes you need to push the uh, the shaft a bit down to make sure it perfectly fits. And that's it. The motor's in place, and it's now ready to be used. So it's uh, as you can see, it's very straightforward. You just need the right pieces and, and know what to do. And that's it. Um, as a next step, we'll look at um, how to actually program the motor, so make sure that we can uh, determine the, the range of the tilt. 
But that's for another, another video, so we'll, we'll show you that next time. Now, if you need any uh, additional information or you just want to buy this, uh, this Tilt 50 RTS motor, please check the description of the video. Um, you'll find links as where to, you can purchase the motor. You'll find the email address if you have any more questions. Um, and then I'll see you in the next video where we'll ins install the, um, or where we'll actually uh, match the, uh, the uh, remote control to the motor and, uh, and determine the range of motion. So, uh, see you in that next video. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.